Hello everybody, this is Norm with Two Guys Farming. How you doing? We are back on the Michigan map. This is our Farmer's Journal entry number 25. You can see here we've got our case 9230 and we've got our corn header on there obviously, but we're not cutting corn. We're cutting some sorghum. I guess is sorghum a kind of corn? I think it may be. Not sure. Is it a ripened or I don't know. Someone help me out with that. Cause I sure as heck don't know. Okay, we got a lot of work to do, so let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and harvest this field. This is uh field fifteen, pretty good size field. Not the biggest one, but it's a uh, good size for sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring up our displays. And field thir oh, sorry, field 13 we're on. Northeast, yep, so that's the right one. And there we go. Where do we? There we should go. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Alright, so let's get our deer started up. Our deer, our 8530 with the John Deere auger wagon or overloader wagon, I guess some people call it. Pull up course play, uh, field 13 combine. Yep, to transport. There's the transport. So that means uh, he's going to unload the combine and then deliver to this transport. So that is, oh, first, um, no, we don't need to do that. Uh, load at start. Empty combine and offload. And, yeah, we do need to do that. Uh, what do we got to get the case? The case. Okay. No combine and reach. So just looking down here, drive behind. Okay, good. All right. Now let's go ahead. This is our Kenworth with our Wilson multi fruit trailer. And he is going to deliver. Uh, let's see. Stop driver. Um, and no. No. Oh, let's start. Yes. Okay. So, um, loading zero of 85,000. Okay, cool. So, obviously, what's happening here is our uh, case is going to unload into the deer pulling the auger wagon. And then, once the auger wagon is full, uh, he's going to go ahead and unload into the Wilson trailer. So, cool. And then the Kenworth will bring this load of sorghum to uh, here, what I call the Bat Cave Farm. So he's going to go all the way down over here and then boom, and then come back. Or that's the theory anyway. Okay, so we have our glance in the upper left-hand corner, so I'm keeping an eye on that great way just to kind of monitor your different vehicles uh, especially since we have um, we had a bunch of stuff yeah so here's on field 25 this is wheat so let's go ahead and get this started took a sip of my tea okay so we're in 25 uh, field 25 yes and yes make sure he looks excellent and he's laying down a straw swath and now we want to grab our case a little bit different setup over here um, 
primarily because that New Holland has a much larger uh, capacity than the other combine in the case. So we needed a bigger auger wagon, and this Bergman is uh, bigger. The deer, I believe, is uh, 30,000 liters. This is 45,000 liters. So we needed a bigger tractor as well. So let's go ahead and get these guys matched up. And yes. So he's gonna, let's, let's kind of help him on his way. We're gonna have the combine request. So that's good, okay. And now our Kenworth. All right, so similar setup here. Uh, this Kenworth is going to um, unload into the farm you see ahead of us, which is the northeast farm. So the K620 with the Bergman uh, auger wagon will unload into here. And we want to drive course. So, all right. Now the deer, let's go up here, is unloading. Hmm. Interesting. Not sure why that did not open automatically. Wow. And the, you can see the case is full already. Yeah, so this sorghum is a, a pretty hardy crop. The yields are, you can see there, he's only done uh, about one row in, a, in a, a tenth of a row. Has reached the waiting point. Hmm. Empty combine and offload. Interesting. Continue. Now, on, the, on field... 15 we didn't have to do that so let's see here's our case so case is going to unload now um, there you can see I've got my JCB fast track with a fuel tank um, Kenworth John Deere is in traffic That's not, that's just bad timing right there. All right, so let's go back here. Yeah, see so now he's unloading automatically. Um, I'm not sure what's different, but anyway. Um, okay, so, yeah, while I'm here, let me check. My fuel is good there. Uh, okay, fuel's decent here as well. Um, how's the fuel? Ooh, okay, so we need some fuel here. All right, so I'm going to have to bring that JCB with the fuel tank um, over here. Might as well... Um, well, before we do that, what, what else do we have going on here? Oh, right. So this is our Massey Ferguson, and he is um, following the combine. Obviously, he's picking up straw, making uh, straw bales. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to copy the New Holland's course. Oh, we are F25. We already have. Okay. Oh, so it's already in there from the last time. Okay, cool. Um, let's see if. And I'm just going to. Nope. Yep. Nope. One more try. Oh, my God, no. Yes. 
Okay, uh, so we need this guy here because he is in the same field. So I usually group them by fields. Um, all right, so let's just... We've got plenty of fuel. Um, we just want to get this over to field 13. Go ahead. Just that. Just. Okay. Yeah, so we're making uh, pretty good progress, I would say. Okay, so we've got uh, the case on 13 is filling right up. So 92. Let's hope that deer is going to unload him soon. It says the deer is transporting, so he's on his way to unload. Um, and there you can see him off in the distance. Yeah, the deer is kind of far away. I mean, ideally, obviously, you want that deer to be unloading the case before. Um, but that's actually okay because... Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost went by it. Um, what we'll do is while they're unloading, we're just going to pull in here and refuel the case. before he takes off. Okay, so we're just going to stop him because we want to... Oh, didn't mean to... Uh, but it's okay, I can go on the side, I suppose. Alright, so now we're refueling. We've unloaded. Let's see. Um, can work. Oh, yeah, he needs fuel. Let's see how the deer's. No, oh, deer's good. Okay. So. After. After the case, we will go ahead. So, oh wait a minute, he was still fueling up? Oh, okay. That's good enough. Um, let's send him back to work. And let's go grab this Kenworth. And I'm hoping that, yep, the deer is going to move. Good. Okay. So we still got plenty of fuel in here, so that's good. And just taking a look at the everyone else looks good as well. And we'll go ahead and get him fueled up. <clears throat> go ahead and uh Wash the windshield, sir. Yeah, those days are gone. Those days are gone. I remember as a kid, dating myself, they actually washed your windshields when you went to the gas station. Not anymore. Oh boy, this thing's taking a lot of fuel. That's okay, though. Um... We want to make sure this deer. Let's just check his field speed. Yeah, that's good. Don't want to go too much faster than that. And well, he's still loading up. K 
Kenworth is being refueled. Yes, it is. Why the deer? The deer should be unloading right now, right? Yeah. Oh, he, he is unloading. Oh, I gotta get out of the way. I gotta get out of the way. Just in time. Why did he try? I wonder if I screwed him up by being... Interesting. I wonder, oh, look at this. This thing is 97%. Oh, man. This thing is it's just voracious appetite. Just doesn't stop. Alright, so what we're hoping here is this thing is going to unload on its own. Yeah, okay, so we're good. Yeah, wow, you know, I, this is my first time harvesting sorghum. And the yields are crazy. So, yeah, I mean, another a Bergman would have been ideal. I think that deer could pull this Bergman. Um, yeah, see, this is what drives me crazy. He's just like probably taking a nap, and he's so far away. Where is he? Yeah, he's all the we can't even see him. And this guy's almost full. And yeah, there is a way to adjust the times when he unloads. But he was supposed to. I had it at forty. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. That doesn't work. If I'm doing that wrong, guys, let me know. Or if there is a better way. Let me know. Um, okay, now I'm hoping the deer left. Oh, you're not going to leave, are you? Get this, this JCB out of here. Okay. So even the New Holland. Alright, good. He's the Bergman got there. They're unloading, so that's good. I mean, that's the key. You just want to prevent any stoppages. You know, obviously, just keep everybody working. All right, so I guess, where are we going to drive? I don't even know where I, where I need this. Um, bum, bum, bum. I guess I'll just go and drive to 25 and leave it there for the time being. We still have 2,300 liters of fuel in there, so we can probably put that to good use if need be. Oh boy, that was close. <laughs> you definitely don't want to tip this thing over with the that little time bomb in the back. guys to I'm just gonna pull up here on the shade under the tree make sure we're out of the way okay um yeah they look uh oh that case is a little no he's okay yeah everyone looks good how's the master doing Massey's just Plugging away. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, we'll have to get the Aveco over here. Um, good. He's unloading. Excellent. And let's just go back here. Excellent. Right, good, good. See, that's what we need. We need these two sticking together. 
Um, what do we got left here? 80%. Yeah. I was wondering if I should send him on his way, but I'm not gonna. Alright, so where are we going after this? Let's just pull this up here. Um, Alright, so we're doing 13. We have 2 and 51. So, <clears throat> yeah, we'll. Yeah, I'm thinking probably after 13, we'll go to 2. And once we're done with 25, we'll do 51. We need another field, and that is our next, our next purchase. We just don't have any money. Let's check in on our silage. We have a ton. Look at that. Yeah. Might as well cover this, right? I gotta drive over it. Yeah, we might as well cover that. Let's see how this is doing. Ooh, 94. Awesome. Yeah, this is about a half a million liters of silage in there. And this is about 160, not nearly as much, but that's okay. Um, let's see if we can compact it with this. Should be able to. Percent compact, yeah, 158 liters. So, damn. Okay. So beautiful. We got ton of silage. So we're good there. Might as well put this away. We do have another K620 here. Deer, catch up. Oh, that's weird. I mean, he didn't unload before. See, that's just that's that ain't cool. These two, these guys get oh, looks like the Massey Ferguson. Yeah, he's uh, we're gonna stop him. Boy, this guy, he's not playing. He is not playing. Ooh, he needs fuel too. So why don't we let him get to the end and then we'll refuel him. So he's going to empty on his own, but he won't drive off on his own. And this is where we really run into problems because... Look at this. The case is almost full again. Yeah, I need... I need a Bergman. I need a Bergman because look at this. The deer, he's half filled right now. Now it doesn't even matter because either way they're going to wait um, I'll request him anyway oh but he's not going anywhere until I send him on his way oh well alright let's just because this is oh boy let me get rid of these covers number one don't like when they kind of glitch through like that 
So, yeah, I think this is his first. Sorkum. Where is Sorkum? Yeah, 282,000. Yeah, and I think that was from Fields, if I'm not mistaken, just from third. Uh, no, from seven. So, yeah. Steamed potatoes. Ooh, that reminds me. I gotta go check on that. Just wanna make sure. This guy is going to be alright. Yeah. It looks great. Tip trigger reached. Let's get in there. Perfect. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba Fent. Where is it? Yes. Perfect. That's where I want to be. Okay. <coughs> so let me go... like the steamed potatoes is close to being full so this is good timing I think that should be fine there Go. Beautiful. Okay. So that's good. Massey is in traffic. Oh, that's good. I forgot to stop him. That's okay. For now, let's go ahead and request the case because he's basically at the opposite end. So let's get these guys together. He's back. So this is perfect timing. Everyone's full. Deer's full. The case combine is full. So yeah, it looks like uh looks like it definitely benefit from a bigger auger wagon. And now I gotta send him on his way. Oh, 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 not you. You. Let's go, buddy. Always got to be told what to do. All right, so I think I think we're good. We're good. We're good. Perfect timing here. And Holland was at ninety-four percent. Alright, looks good. Yeah. Pretty happy. Alright, so... 
We gotta sell all of that silage now. We don't have a front loader. All we have is this. This JCB. Which we'll have to do. Um, yeah, I mean, it almost doesn't matter how you put it in because it can only process enough silage at a time anyway. So I've long ago given up on buying big front loaders with huge 10,000 liter buckets because the processors, the BGA processor, can only process it so fast. So when you get these huge buckets and you just dump it in, you end up just sitting there waiting to be able to dump it in. So um, I find the telehandler works fine. It, even the, with the smaller bucket, I think that's four or 6,000 liters in there. Um, he still has to wait. So just going to check our slurry. Ooh. Very nice, six hundred eighty thousand. That's good. All right, I want this ninety-five. Maybe if I jump up and down on it, that'll help. <laughs> um, yeah, I want this is money right here, and I want to start making that money because we need desperately another field. Desperately need another field. Um, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and... So the Kenworth 96%, so he's going to be going to the Northeast Farm, which is fine. Um, okay, so he's already on his way, which is good. I wonder if this Massey is still going to be... Yeah, he's still going, but he was starting to lose. I suppose I could put it on... I don't know. GPS, I think, shuts off when you leave the vehicle. So I don't think that would work either. Um, but I guess I can bring the Aveco truck in the trailer over here. My auto bailers, I know, I know. Um, it's really kind of the only thing in the game that I do that I guess you could call cheating. Um, and that's because I just, one, I suck at loading bales. And two, um, yeah, I, don't, I, I keep blaming the physics of the game. <laughs> um, I don't think it's great. So I think that is a problem. And that's why it's hard to load bales, right? Yeah. That's what I keep... Oh, what's going on here? Come on now. So when we get to the end here, we're going to uh, refuel. And then we will go get our the deers. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's going on here? Poor, 
this is this operation isn't the best because that case is full now. Um, all right, well, it is what it is for right now. There's not a whole lot we can do about that problem. We have, we don't have money to buy a bigger um cargo wagon, so. It's nothing we can really. Oh. Hmm. Guess I gotta be a little closer. That makes sense. There we go. Yeah, see, this is. I don't know why it's prompting me to continue. Last episode, when we were doing Field 15, it didn't. Hmm. Anyway. Um. Alright, so he's full. I'll put him there. And the Aveco. is in traffic. Which one? Oh. I guess that wasn't out of the way. I thought I changed this to manual. Oh, man, I almost panicked. I thought he was, he's just coming back. I thought he just, yeah, 367. Man. Okay. So. See. Alright, so we just empty. Alright, no worries there. Okay. Alright, back to Iveco. Yeah, we're gonna head to 25. And... Probably going a lot faster through here than I should be. Not to mention that is probably not the best thing to do. Alright. So. Yeah, so that's the plan. Sell that silage and buy another. Um, buy another piece of land and then start um, making TMR and getting ready for animals. What does that do? Apparently nothing. Okay. Uh, square bills. Choose unloading side. We're going to do trailer. And that's it. Oh, 
this one already. Oh, it's doing the rear first. Oh, that's okay, I suppose. It's okay. And the deer, of course, is full. Oh, I don't want to miss that one. Oh, good. Okay. <coughs> Um, why is he freaking out on me? He should be. I don't think that Kenworth is full. Is he? Maybe he is. Ah. If he is full, why isn't he driving? No, I'm confused. Why did he... Look at this abomination. Like, really, guys? Like, come on. We're not better than this? Really? Oh, boy. Look at this. Where is... Please, what are you doing? Please drive. Oh, okay, you kidding me. Get him right on that like a train. Oh boy. Alright. Well, boy, last episode, everything was like just total drama free. And now, not so much. Not so much. Deer has reached. Yes, I'm aware of that. But I want him to continue. Okay, so now we gotta switch to the front. I'm not adverse to selling these either. Because I've got so many bales of straw, it's ridiculous. Okay, so we're just about finished here. Four more bales, and we're done. Let me just grab this one on the end. He's kind of off on his own. Okay. All right. So. Let's see what's happening here. Alright, well at least he unloaded. That's good. 452, so just a... Yeah, we're getting there up to about a half million liters. 
I mean, we've done pretty good. I mean, we could, I mean, I got 1.2 million liters of oat. So maybe we start, I got potatoes. Um, that's about it. I mean, I got a half million liters of corn. I've got some silage. But that's manure. Uh, compost, manure, steamed, oat. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> what is oat going for? 744, not bad. Not bad. Let's see if it gets better than that. Nope. 744. You know, maybe I, um... Maybe I sell some oats. You know? Oh, what do you guys think? Take some sip of tea. Yeah, th these guys, zero complaints. I mean, these guys just getting it done. I keep hoping that I'm going to come over here and it's going to be ready, but it's not. Hang on. Let me just... Okay. Wow, he's unloading now. Interesting. Will he go on his own? Go on your own? No, he won't. He's a baby. He needs to be told. Oh well. Alright, so let's try this again. <clears throat> I keep thinking, yeah. Oh, it's going to be 99. I do need some... 97. It's like this is just money sitting under that tarp. Fermenting chaff into silage. And then what we'll do is we're just going to dump dollars like we're newer. Boom. I'm just going to put that right in there. Okay. Um... I'm starting to get giddy with excitement at the prospect of actually being able to do that. Alright, let me get the, um... As unglamorous as this work is. I'm trying to think. Where... Can I drop these and make a little money? I know some maps, you can actually put it in the BGA, but that's, I think with the BGA extension mod, we don't have that. So... We really have a lot of straw bales. <coughs> So let's let's see how much we get selling this. Let's see what we get. Can you put it in the compost maker? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I actually already tried that. I don't think it worked. <laughs> All right. So there's the northeast farm. There is a straw sell point. Just don't know that it's like crazy good money. In fact, I know it's not good money, but. And it's a little funky. Ooh, look at our seed master. 
it looks like. Let's just take a quick look at that. Yeah, it looks like um, Seedmaster, 90,000. Yep. So, we're good. Yeah, that's all seed in there. Or most of it, almost. So that's good. Save some money there. And... What's going on here? Um, the washer stopped because probably the steamer is backed up. But let's just real quick um, just make sure that the washer is not out of water or something. Uh, we could use some fuel and potatoes. Okay. Yep. But no rush. Not for right now, anyway. Okay, so I believe, yeah, it's right down here. So we have 50,000. Holland is in traffic. Alright, let me go check on these guys. Oh, that's stupid. Come on, Case, you know better than that. Let's see if I can hopefully just point him in the right direction and he'll know what to do. Nope. He's got to start from the beginning. Alright, that's fine. That's. Oh. Have a big shot. He showed me. Uh oh. Why did he look like he was driving? Let me just. Did he hear me and get pissed? No. Okay, good. Yep. He's unloading. Very good. Um. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. So, now we need to change our unload side to uh, left. And now we just need to, so we got 50,000, so that was 4,000. So, call it four grand. I mean, it's better than a sharp stick in the eye, I suppose. Um, trailer. Left. Bam. Okay. I mean, it's not awful. But it's not great either. But, you know... It's better than, I mean, we really don't need any more straw. We got a ton. Trust me. <laughs> we got a ton. So, we're taking something that would just otherwise sit around in surplus and turn it into money. Oops, shit. Sorry about that. Try and stay on the grass because it goes a lot faster on the grass. Here comes the Kenworth. So that's good. Another 80,000 liters. Perfect. And this knucklehead needs to be sent on his way. Okay, so while I'm doing that, let's just go ahead and uh, back right trailer. Okay. Alright, so that's done. <coughs> and let's go back and start picking these up. Alright, 
Alright, so same basic procedure. I wonder if it's better to drive in a diagonal like that. Well, I wonder. Because they're not always in a diagonal. Yeah, let's we'll stick with this. Try and keep it simple, stupid. Alright, so, been, um playing on a server, which has been a, a blast. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you do, he's, he's popular, one of the most popular YouTube farming sim guys out there. Um, Ian Robson, I'm sure you guys have uh, been to his channel. Oh, hold on, hold on, I'm going to change to the rear now. There we go. <coughs> yep, drove over it. Yeah, so anyway, um, Ian Robson, YouTube channel, very popular farm sim guy. Um, I basically learn how to play by watching his videos. He's got some really good tutorials, course play, stuff like that. Um, so, ooh. so yeah, he started a Protreon, I think I'm saying that right, Protreon, um, which is basically, a, uh, it's a pretty cool concept. Um, you can, for a small monthly donation, you get all these kind of neat kind of benefits and perks. And one of them is um, a multiplayer server. So, um, yeah, I've been doing that. I was actually on this morning with Rob, uh, Ian, sorry. Um, Okay, so we're full here, so we're going to go ahead and shut that off, and head back, and we'll sell this as well. Yeah, so I played this morning on a server, and if you uh, contribute, it's uh, you can contribute, uh, I think there's two tiers, $3, actually you can uh, contribute nothing, um, but if you contribute, I believe that the $5 a month then you get uh, access to the server. So, yeah, so I contribute $5 a month, and um, yeah, I've been on the, his server with some other guys doing the same thing, and really good group of guys. And yeah, we've been having a lot of fun. So, if you haven't played multiplayer yet, I strongly recommend you know, even if you just hop on to a random multiplayer server, there are, there are many out there. And, you know, they allow people to just join and play, and it's cool. So at least give that a try. Um, because for me, what's great about this game, I mean, obviously the game, I, I have a ton of fun playing this game. Um, but the community is really cool. And playing on a server with uh, people in that community, it's a blast. So if you haven't tried it, uh, check out his YouTube channel, Ian Robson, and he's got a Protreon account. And like I said, um, you can uh, pay just a few bucks a month, three or five dollars a month, and uh, I think with the five dollars a month, you get access to the server. So pretty cool. So if you you feel like checking out the multiplayer, just join a multiplayer game and check it out. See how you like it. I bet you're gonna love it because it's a, it's a ton of fun. 
All right, so we need to change to left. Okay. Change left. Back up a little bit. Yeah, that did the trick. Yeah, so, you know, this is definitely adding up. Without a doubt. Let me just check on everybody here. Yeah, see, you should be moving right now. So, I'm going to tell you to drive. And let's see how these guys are doing. Okay. Yeah, so he's done. Yeah, see, that's the problem. He's just got... He's going to go back. The case is full. And he's got half. Alright. Um, definitely going to need another uh, bigger auger wagon. With these yields on some of these crops. Especially the sorghum. Really need it. Okay. So might as well get this fired up again. Um, are we on the right? Let me just say. I think we're on the right one. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. The New Holland's full? When I sent him, I sent him here. I thought I would send him to the New Holland, but nope. So that one's my fault. My bad, guys. I'll take responsibility for that hiccup. Otherwise, this crew has done flawless, flawless work. In Very happy. Guys on, uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's not their fault either. It's more that auger wagon is just too small. They need a bigger one. What are they? About halfway? Almost halfway. Maybe a third of the way done with this field. And... Let me... You know what? Let me do this. Just call him. Oh, he's coming. Too late. Yeah, he beat me to it. So, let's go get some more bales, shall we? Ooh, I just happened to look at the fuel on this thing, so might as well fill her up, please. Not crazy about the yellow. You can choose the color. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. At least it's dirty, so it looks a little bit better. But not digging the yellow. So we do have some silage. What do we got? We got 242,000 liters. The reason I'm not selling this is because... We're using that for the animals and TMR. So. Deer has reached the point of no return. Oh, Kenworth. Come on, Kenworth. Yeah, these, these two seem to be a little bit off. Well, no, he, he's, yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, it's close enough. Close enough. 
I like this auger wagon. It's a great auger wagon. I just need something bigger like the Berkman. Because especially with this Swerkrum. I mean, this is a hardy, high yield crop. So. Alright, let's um, refuel, head back out. And send him on his way. No shortage of tractors, that's for sure. We need to start thinking about plowing. Plowing uh, seven needs to be plowed. Thir um, Thirteen will need to be plowed, as will twenty-five. So, but we get some time before we need to worry about that. I think what we'll do is pull up down here. into position okay all right guys I think we will um, call it an episode so thanks as always for joining me hope you had a good time and uh don't forget, if you're interested in playing multiplayer, you can just, instead of playing single player, just select multiplayer. And then just find a, a server that's open, and or you can start one and have your, your friend join it. Easy. And uh, check it out. It's a lot of fun. And especially if you're playing with a good, good group of uh, other guys, uh, then you're going to have a blast. So... You can try it that way, or like I said, you can check out Ian Robson's YouTube page. I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with him anyway. Just click on one of his videos, and then uh, more information. He has a link to his Patreon page, and you can check out the uh, different perks and benefits there. So, all right, guys, thanks again. Appreciate it. Hope you had a good time. I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.